Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. The algorithm to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit is the temperature in Celsius times 9 fifths plus 32. You are given a variable Celsius representing a temperature in Celsius. Use the variable Fahrenheit already defined and assign it to the Fahrenheit temperature equivalent to the given Celsius temperature. Use the algorithm mentioned above to help convert the Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit. Okay, awesome. So um, so basically, um, here we're converting this to Celsius. First thing I'm going to do is console.log this. Um, this will give us an undefined, because right now Fahrenheit is undefined. Let's say Fahrenheit is equal to Celsius. So now it's just going to return 30. So what's happening now? It's convert um, to Fahrenheit. We're passing in 30. We're setting Fahrenheit equal to Celsius. And then we're returning this Fahrenheit variable. So this isn't right. Right now, what we want is probably going to be something like um, 60 plus 30. It's probably going to be around 90 degrees. That's going to be what we want. So Celsius times 9 fifths. OK, that's 54. And then we want to add 32, 86. OK, cool. Um, because of the order of operations, the multiplication happens fast. So immediately, or initially, um, because of order of operations in um, algebra, the multiplication happens first. Um, if we were not having that, we could put this in parentheses, and that would make it so that we were confident that this is happening first. But because it's multiplication, we can actually do it that way. Um, another thing that we could actually do, so this gets us 86, and I think that this will pass the tests. OK, cool. Now, to refactor, I mean, there's no real reason for us to have a four-line function here. We could just take this out, and instead of saying Fahrenheit, we could just return the value. And I think this would actually pass the tests as well. So that's just like a way to refactor this. Um, so yeah, one, going over one more time, we're convert to Fahrenheit, convert to F, and then we're passing in Celsius of 30. 30 becomes Celsius, so we return 30 times 9 fifths plus 32. And then when we run the test, it passes. Cool, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.